This camper's handcrafted, luxurious interior comes with gorgeous vintage design features, loads of mod cons, and serious eco credentials. And just wait until you see the extendable kitchen. Let's meet the owners and find out all about beautiful Willow. Welcome to Quirky Campers, the home of handmade camper vans. Well, we decided to call the Van Willow, I think in part um, because we live in Cambridge and it's sort of one of our favorite spots in Cambridge down by the river has these gorgeous sweeping willow trees that come down and sort of brush the river and it's just like kind of, I don't know, the image of Cambridge to us and we wanted a kind of lovely organic sounding name and it's just, I don't know, Willow came to us and it just suddenly, it just felt right. Both of us have been really interested in camp vanning for a long time, never actually done it, um, but a couple of years ago we rented a van from quirky and drove up to Glasgow and um, all through lockdown we found ourselves being drawn more and more to like vans on on the gram and YouTube and and towards the end of last year we sort of looked at each other and were like we should just do it. Started a mood board and before we knew it we had a van we found it a converter to work with and yeah Willow was born on in February the 1st this year. Everything kind of does two things. So the, you can cook inside or you can pull the kitchen out. Or, you know, you've got a lovely worktop that sort of, when you pop up the larder, converts into a kitchen space. And then we've got um, this amazing pendant lamp, which when you pull out the dining table and you put up the lamp, suddenly you've got a dining room. I grew up in Texas and New Mexico. So for me, this sort of turquoise color palette and southwestern bright oranges really is just near and dear to my heart so um, so I wanted that built into the project but then we've got other sort of bright features um, and things which I think draw on Tom's background um, being half South African that sort of bring in really bright pops of color too so it feels like home to us. Both Hannah and I are pretty avid cooks so one of the absolute best features of Willow for us is the kitchen um, mainly because you have quite a clean space during the day, uh, but when you want to cook, you just have to lift up the cover here to expose the, the cook plate. Um, but more than that, if it's a nice day to cook outside, uh, you can cook outside because just by lifting up these two levers here, you can slide the whole kitchen outdoors. We've got a, a pretty big 12 volt fridge. Um, which seems to work in pretty much all uh, temperatures, keeping things cold. It's, it's really nice. Little shield for the porthole here for nighttime, uh, which if you flip round, it's also got a nice, nice little mirror for nighttime and morning time activities. One of the sort of most popular features of the kitchen um, is in this corner of the van, and um, you access it by pushing this button on the wall which reveals a pop-up larder. These I'm particularly excited about because these taps were reclaimed from um, the upgrade to the Orient Express train. And so if you look at the little uh, pearl inlays there, they've got Orient Express written on them. So we were able to get them. We conditioned them up so that they're working and um, they offer both hot and cold water. Willow also has a sound system uh, in the back. We've got a Bluetooth um, connection, which packs quite a punch. One of the absolutely coolest features, I think, of this van is that once the table is open, you open this hidden cupboard in here, and inside you have a pendant light that simply attaches via a magnet to the top of the ceiling. So it's really nice because at night, um, particularly, you know, in winter time and when, when you're all shut up, you can really have a nice cozy um, meal, play some cards, do whatever you want to do, and it just changes the vibe of the van. So in the ceiling, we have um, an extractor fan. It's pretty powerful and it can blow air both out of the van, but also into the van which makes it quite versatile, particularly when you're in hot places. 
you can open the skylight at the back and have a bit of circulation going through. The sleeping area itself is kind of pod-like. A uh, converter put a lot of effort into making the curves in the roof here that you can see. Uh, and coupled with the curves in the cabinetry at the feet here, it's just a really like comfortable and warm place to, to be at night. The storage for clothes is here. Uh, it's actually far bigger than it looks because they drop down all the way to the bottom. So you can fit a huge amount in here. We got the biggest skylight that we could find on the market. Uh, it opens almost completely. Uh, and when you're in a place where uh, you can see the stars, you can lie in bed and uh, look at the constellations forever. It's, it's so nice. We built in this fixed bed specifically so we'd have just loads of storage in the garage area. You can really chuck in anything in here. We've got an inflatable kayak and our, our porta potty. We have, um, we usually put in sort of a little box back here with some firewood that guests like to use. To the technical side of things, we've got a couple water tanks. So here we've got our main tank. Um, over here we've got sort of our fresh water and then also up behind here, we've got a calorifier, which is where we get our hot water and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, what it does is uses excess engine heat. So the engine coolant sort of comes pipes back and is used to heat the water while you're driving. So you've got a great sort of eco-friendly use and way to heat water. We've also got um, our lovely bookshelves in the back here. So we usually include a little bit of um, inspirational travel reading material for our guests. We've got a shower curtain in here, and a this is your shower head with the hose. Plugs right in. This little guy, it gets quite a bit of water pressure, so it's um, it's really comfy, um, and yeah, you can feel warm water. And then we also have a, a big shower curtain that um, connects up between the two doors uh, to give you a bit of privacy. little wooden shower floor right down. Hook up your shower head and you're good to go. So the last little extra we've got on the van is this bike rack which is great. It takes uh, two bikes um, so we you know when we go traveling park up a little bit outside of town and love to use our bikes either to go around the countryside or to just pop into town and cycle around. We're most proud of uh, just kind of the reception we've got from from friends and family and and renters we've had Willow out with just how much everybody loves her um, and it's been it's been kind of really nice and validating in such a cool way when other people see this space and see the van and it kind of resonates with them too mm -hmm. so I think you know it makes us feel like yeah we got something right with with how it's all put together and how it looks because I think it feels homely to a lot of people which is makes us feel great so you could hire this van for your very own adventure. Click the link to find out more. Looking to build your own campervan? You should check out our brand new ebook, Building a Campervan. As well as technical advice on things like carpentry, gas, and electrics, it also includes dozens of layout ideas and advice on things like choosing your base vehicle or what to do if you'd like to rent your campervan out. Click the link to find out more.